We all have a story. How we've arrived where we are. How we've battled, overcome, fought back in the face of adversity. A senior year I had a really, really good year and I kind of thought like offers would be rolling in, but that wasn't the case. I was about 230 pounds when I graduated and uh, I lacked the, the offers or looks really from college coaches. Something kept nagging at me is I can do better than this. I can work harder to push myself because you know my heart's always at D1. I want to show Jake that I can actually play Division I football. You know, he's not the only one in the family or Connor. If you get the starting job, you might get a chance to take that scholarship, but you know, there's no guarantees. And you know, you just try to work every day to, you know, make sure you get a chance to get it kind of thing. Never before in Pete Lembo's career has the Cardinals coach had so many walk-ons earn scholarships. Eight of them this year. Six percent of his roster. I was a Division Three non-scholarship football player in college, right? And I loved the game and I approached the game like I was a scholarship football player at Alabama. Uh, when I got into coaching, my first several jobs were all at non-scholarship schools. We've always had that approach, and, and as we've grown as a staff and, and moved up the ranks and gotten into scholarship football, first at Elon and, and now FBS football here at, at Ball State, that mentality has never changed for me as a head coach and it hasn't changed for any of the assistants on our staff. And the former walk-ons aren't just anybody's. It's four of the Cards' ten two-deep offensive linemen, at one point three starters. It's the punter, the snapper, the punt returner, and the starting middle linebacker. Well, a lot of people look down on me, so I just go on the field and prove people wrong. You know, I play fast, I play strong, I play powerful. And when they see that, they're like, okay, this kid can actually play. Yeah, just like his brothers. You see, Zach Ryan's the second youngest of four. His older brothers both scholarshiped. Connor at Ball State, Jake's an All-American at Michigan. But good genes aren't just unique to Ryan. Junior captain Jake Richard walked on after he still had no offers coming out of prep school, even as the brother of a Super Bowl champion center. I had looks from, from D3 schools, but I, you know, I pretty much said, that I, I wasn't going to go there, so they stopped really knocking on my door because I, you know, I, I wasn't, I didn't want to, uh, you know, go go to one of those schools. No offers, none for Richard, for Ryan, for state champion wrestler Jeremiah Harvey, though he could have pursued that sport. None for Indianapolis City Player of the Year Aaron Hep, too slow. Nothing from football legacy Taylor Hoke or Nick Plavchak, Nick Traub, or Kyle Schmidt. At first, it was hard for me to take that. I wasn't going to get a scholarship, I was going to have to walk on, but once I accepted it and, and said I got to get to work and earn a scholarship once I get here kind of thing, I knew that with the walk on you know, position I could, I could still achieve what I wanted to. But certainly it meant a different path on and off the field. I really was in a different dorm than a lot of the other players, so I didn't really get to uh, hang out much with them until you know, the season was over and I started to learn who guys were. I didn't come to camp actually. I walked on and came the first day of school my freshman year. It's kind of hard seeing all the, all your teammates being able to go in, get their textbooks for free, being able to eat for free, just get their uh, food and everything paid for them. And uh, I just kept grinding away at it. Which at Ball State can pay off. Because outside the obvious, you really can't tell who's who. Coming in here as a walk-on uh, with the old staff was a little hard. You were treated like a walk-on. Um, this new staff got here with Coach Limbo, and you wouldn't know the difference who was walk on, who wasn't. Treated the same, absolutely, especially here at Coach Limbo. Everybody, every every student athlete on our football team is treated the same. There were a lot of players that didn't realize I was a walk on until, you know, that somehow came up in conversation. They, they actually kind of assumed that I was on scholarship the entire time, so you know it was kind of a surprise to some of the, some of my teammates who had no idea that I was going to walk on. Part of that is the level playing field. But most of it comes from the walk-ons themselves. If I didn't work hard, I don't think I'd be here. And if I stopped working hard once I got here, I don't think I'd be, you know, I don't think I would have started or had a scholarship. I was just going to do do what I have to do, kind of work up in the ranks, because you got to start somewhere. So I just kind of worked from the bottom to the top. Once you get your chance to, you know, you know, get a chance to play in the game or in practice, if they give you a look, you got to make it count. Traub's a perfect example, thrust into duty for the first time at the Beefo Brady's Bowl as a freshman. Aaron Hepp, a prime example too. After earning trust as the scout team quarterback against Army last season, the coaches put him into the game. Frazier hit, the ball comes free. Ball State has it at the 11. And the recovery for Ball State's Aaron Hepp. That was like my first collegiate play was I recovered a fumble, so it was pretty, it was pretty special. 
My parents were in the crowd. They didn't even know I was in until they said my name in the PA. It's the thrill only a walk-on can have. That feeling when you first earn time on the field, or better yet, when coach calls you in to talk. And you're always a little worried, oh, what's, what's this gonna go? How's this gonna go, this meeting with coach? And he goes, so some scholarships open up, my, my eyes kind of widen open, my jaw drops, I was like, there's no way this happens right now. And he said, if I offered you a scholarship, would you be willing to stay for your fifth year? And I said, absolutely, coach. I was on the phone still, and he goes, he mouthed to me like, did you get a scholarship? And I, was, I started nodding, yeah, and he goes, Congratulations. I kept a calm head, but I didn't. I was, I was jumping in joy, you know, jump for joy inside. I remember going to my car and I called my mom. She didn't answer. Called my dad. He didn't answer. My dad was so proud. He actually was in tears when I. I the phone call with him was very emotional. It didn't last very long. He, he didn't have words to speak. You know, he just. I had to call him later, about an hour later, so we could actually have a real conversation. Then there's Nick Plavchak who earned his scholarship the most publicly of his teammates. I just really didn't know what to say. I was so, you know, I was really excited. Um, it was just like a really great feeling to be, you know, awarded for how much hard work I have put into this program. Um, and that felt, that felt really good. And really, that's the end game because the OMAC selections and the captain hoods, the stats, the starts, the playing time, they're all nice things, but the scholarship is what's most important. And it's actually not because of the money or the textbooks or the meals. It's because of the validation that comes along with having earned it. Well, what a wonderful story to be able to tell that you came in uh, and that's all you had was an opportunity, a chance to work hard, a chance to be a part of something, a chance to prove yourself. And at some point, you made a significant enough contribution that you were rewarded by being put on scholarship. I think it's a true blessing in the making because to come all the way from where I came from, I think it's, it's a blessing from God. It felt like I've accomplished my overall goal that I was going to work hard until I became something that this team needed and become a scholarship guy. You just think back of all the one tens you ran, all the times you had to go in that 6 a.m. and squat, and it just makes it all worth it. And uh, it is really rewarding. Joel Godet, BallStateSports.com.